All right, uh, let's look at a quick video about uh, section 1.2, checkpoint 6, talking about life expectancy. Um, so the bar graph that we're looking at is the life expectancy in the United States by year of birth, and it's divided out into, or divided out into males and females, where the males are in red, females are in yellow. We're going to have the birth here along the x-axis or along the bottom and the life expectancy, so how long we're expecting somebody to live along the y-axis. Um, so it's asking us to find a woman's increased life expectancy rounded to the nearest hundredth of a year for each subsequent birth year. So what we're looking for is the increase in life expectancy for women. So what we're actually looking for is how many, how much older, so the change in age, is how much older they're going to get for every year of birth later, so every calendar year later. So we're going to be looking at their age increase per birth year. So we want to look at the age increase or the life expectancy increase. From 1950, uh, females were expected to live about 71.1 years, and by 2010, they're expected to live 81.1 years. So we need to find that difference because we're looking for the change in that. So we have 81.1 minus 71.1 over, and then the birth year. Um, again, we started high and went low, so we started with the information for 2010. So we're going to start with 2010 and then subtract that 19, uh, excuse me, yeah, 1950. And this is going to give us one, excuse me, 10 over 60, which is going to reduce down to one sixth. Uh, but it's asking us to round to the nearest hundredth of a year for each subsequent birth year. Um, so all we're going to do is divide that out. And that is equal to approximately 0 0.1. And we're going to the hundredth. So I'm going to go a couple more decimal places. So this is actually. Uh, 0.16 repeating. So the hundredths place, tens hundredths, is right there. So this six, this one is going to make that one go up. So about 0 0.17. Uh, and this would be about 0.17 years of increase for their age for every birth year. So here it's asking us to find the life expectancy to the nearest tenth of a year of a warm, woman born in 2050. So 2050 is going to be 40 years beyond this or 100 years beyond this 1950. We're going to start with 1950. So essentially we want to find the life expectancy for 1950 plus... Uh, it's going to be 100 years later, so plus 100 times that 0 0.17. So the life expectancy for 1950 is 71.1 plus, and then 100 times 0 0.017 is uh, 17. So it's going to actually end up being 88.1.